I'm gonna explain myself. Welcome back to Smooth TV. So, big game, right? The reason why I say that, because this conversation steals from a conversation I had at, at uh, work Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. <laughs> and so, um, I feel like I need to touch on this one more time. <coughs> If you're new to the channel, or if you ain't never seen it before, go look up my channel, it's called uh, Understanding God. Go in a little bit more in depth of what I'm about to say in that one, but uh, I just want to explain something, okay? The world was given to the wicked, all right? Meaning, the devil and his niggas run this bitch, okay? Nine times out of ten, you are about, already know about the Illuminati, and this, that, the third, whatever you want to call it, but, okay? If you don't think it's evil people in this world, right? Think about this. It's a dude right now. It's me and you, live and breathe. That's enough money to put every person on earth in a house. If you don't think evil is this, I don't know what to say, okay? Two, the same people that question God, do not question the existence of the devil. Why is this? I guess because he shows more of a presence or you just overlooking the good. So once again, I'm gonna say this. The world is already given to the wicked. All right. Now, when you go to blaming God for your mishaps, your misfortunes and your people getting kidnapped, organ harvesting, <coughs> police killing black people, this, that, the third, 9-11, wars, the whole nine. It's not God's fault. It's your fault. Each and every last one of us. Why? Because we ain't do nothing to stop it. Okay? You don't do nothing to apply yourself to step in to help or to step in to stop some shit, okay? And I'm gonna prove this shit to you, right? If you go down your timeline or you look up shit on YouTube or whatever, then you can be out everyday life. Somebody get the fight. A lady fall, this, that, and the third. Any type of accident. The very first thing you're going to do is you're going to pull out that goddamn phone. Not to call 911. No help. Still hit the fucking record button on your goddamn camera. Now, I don't mean to cuss like that, but I'm just being honest. In the year 2017, people will pull out their phone and start recording you for the ever will start helping you, okay? If you get shot, you have a better chance to save your own damn life now than a crowd full of people than somebody to pull out their phone and call 911 for you, all right? Now, out of 100 people, 99 of them might pull out their phone and hit record. One person out of 100 people might call 911. Bit of proof of fact. When mass shoes go on, this, that, and third, it'd be less calls than more people just running and pulling out their phones and shit. That's why it'd be so much video and shit, or shit on Facebook, they'd rather just less phone call. Because more people are interested in hits and likes and shit than to help a motherfucking life. And that's sad as hell. But you want to sit up there and blame that shit on God. Well, why God didn't come in and help him? Why the fuck you just pulled out your phone and hit record and went, oh shit, y'all see this, we're going live. No, you don't want to do that. 
You want to blame that shit on somebody who ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Okay? Now, again, this is how God work, right? He ain't completely just said, do away with you, all right? If you want to do that, this shit will be gone by now, all right? Then what he did was he said, look, even though them niggas doing what they do, I'm going to still look out for you, okay? Now, this is how the game go, all right? If the Lord see you struggling, the most high see you trying to do something with your life, then he gonna help you, okay? Like I said before in my video, and I understand the God, if you going for a job interview, or you praying on something, this, that, and the third, and you're not um, pushing yourself, doing what you gotta do to do that, taking the steps to do that, then why the, why would he help you? Okay, just being honest. Alright? That's just like you trying to help somebody and they don't want to do it. Okay? You dropping them off at work but yet they complaining about it. You see what I'm saying? It take them forever to get ready or this down the third, they be like, well shit. If you ain't enthusiastic about getting a job, but you just two weeks ago begging for this shit, then shit, why, you know what I'm saying? Why would that help you if you don't even want to try? You see what I'm saying? Okay. So, Lil Pook and Lil Tuck get into it, right? You know this nigga mama. Your mama know, his mama know you. Okay? Y'all don't talk about these motherfuckers be fighting at little clubs and shit they going to, okay? You want to pray about it, okay? You going to leave it into the hands of God. Or you talk to him, but you don't talk to him like you're supposed to. Or when you pray about it, you don't enforce that shit. Now that little Tay Tay, little another little shot the other motherfucker, and this motherfucker died. Now you going, oh, Lord, please don't let them take my baby. No, this shit could have been stopped if you would have did something about it. Okay? If you sit up there and let somebody be mistreated or doing this or doing that or uh, handling business a certain way or uh Physically and emotionally hurt somebody, you don't do shit about it, don't blame that shit on God. Because nine times out of ten, he probably sent you that to show you that shit. And they be like, tell them to stop. But you ain't open your damn mouth. So you probably had to go another route or just fuck it. But don't put, sit up here and blame God for problems that we can control. Why? Because I ain't built a few of them. And it's a shitload of us. So, you know, numbers count. But don't sit up there and blame your problems on God just because you ain't get your shit the way you want it to. Or uh, just because shit ain't happening <coughs> the way you want it to happen. Shit don't go playing as everybody want it to. Everything is not fucking roses and shit, you know? So... You got to learn to understand that the most high is here for you, but you have to first understand him, okay? He's like your tag team partner, but he's not going to sit up there and do everything for you when he gave you the power to do it for yourself. Good always over conquer evil. I, they just diluted the vision of who God really is. So with that, like I said, I ain't gonna get too deep into it. <laughs> if you ain't never seen it, go check it out. It's really good understanding God. I highly advise you to do it. I'm gonna do a part two to it. So, YouTube. Facebook and Twitter, baby. Six Boo TV. We out.